When I was 11 years old, I was trying to rap with my friend, but we didn't have any any good ideas uh, for our own song, so we just stopped. But when I moved to England, I started to have ideas for my first song. Uh, the situation from my first time in London helped me to write songs about my life. A rap is telling a story about me and life. Now, on, now I only need beats and some money for equipment. My dream is to record my song and ma make my own CD with my songs. Pociągnę ty aż do trumny, nigdy nie przestawę żywić siebie Czuj się jak w niebie, rób to co chcesz, na to co ci każą Bo oni tylko marzą, rób to... Nic nie mogą, nic ludźmi gardzą Mnie znają tylko ludzie... To jest miejsce, London Eye, Friends, Slovakia, Shops, uh, Westfield. My name is Maria Dezova. I'm 14 years old and I'm from Slovakia. I'm in England six years. And when I grow up, I want to be a hairdresser, beautician, or fashion. And now I want to open a salon. And uh, go around the, ro the world. After I finished secondary school, I like to be a beautician. I would like, um, in particular, I like hair hairdressing and also makeup. I also love fashion. In the future, I would like to have my own um, beauty and hairdressing salon. My name is Martina, and I'm 15 years old. Today I would like to speak about my inspirations and my future. Back home, my strongest memory is that I used to spend a lot of time with my family. At the same time, I wasn't really focused on education. When I came to England, my life completely changed. I started to look at the life in a different way. I began noticing the beauty of the world. Here, in England, the school teach me a lot. I'm really grateful to my teachers because they are very familiar and they showed me how the importance of education. Education is really important to me because in the future I would like to be a nursery teacher and without education it wouldn't come true. I wish to be a nursery teacher because kids are the future of all of us. It is very surprising how the kids are able to express their feelings. In order to realize my plan of my dream, I would love to go to the top university in England. Romale, chavale, irman quiere tosar. Sa, sabe, sabe que la soy, soy un mister pero da que esta vez sí. A mí sabe, da sabe, sabe chico va que las. Da, pero quiere va que las romales, a sarcha zabrita va que las, a de va que las anglicky, a quiere sarcha spresuensko ta sloven. Sabe la este. So I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say Ali marjiva zade. Ten, ali daras te. Dikas, dikas hoj ade i feder dživi pensar kere. A sar, sar, sar pa i ade, koji sar tu cikine zade. 
The word gypsy obviously has connotations of being bohemian as well, and particularly around the sort of late 1880s into sort of the mid 1930s, you had a lot of artists and things, people like Augustus John, for example, who became obsessed with being bohemian, and the word being bohemian was to become like a gypsy. So he had a wagon and he used to travel around and there's lots of paintings of gypsies and things like that. And the Gypsy Law Society was set up. Um, so it's sort of, in, everyone's sort of involved in these two pictures, which is one which is very romanticised and very artistic. And the other is like a really bad picture of people who are really bad and they're uneducated and they don't wash and they're really untidy and all of those sort of things. But it's almost like both pictures are held together. So if you come from the community, you're in this really strange place. Mm. You can't actually be a real gypsy and be an artist. Or you can't be a real gypsy and be educated. So we're constantly having our identity and our authenticity questioned because of what people think they know, not what their actual experience is. Because the other thing is we often find when we do these exhibitions and things that it's the first time a lot of people have actually met someone from the community and talked to them face to face. They've never actually met anyone, so they're going completely on what they've read and what they think they know through the media. Uh, I want to ask you, how does you feel about it that people speak about uh, Roma or Gypsies in the bad way? Because they don't speak um, any positive things about like your culture and mm. stuff. I think a lot of it's to do with because people don't know a lot sometimes and then sometimes it's because their experience may have been a bad experience but then I've had bad experiences with other people as well and I wouldn't want that to make my judgment of everyone who comes from say a certain community or from a certain place where people live I wouldn't want to think that I thought that everybody was like that but I think because there's it's quite difficult for people to meet people from the community that I come from because it can be quite a closed community and I think what people have to understand that comes from centuries of being treated very badly because in certain places for example in Europe people were slaves for centuries and so therefore if you come from that sort of history you sort of carry, you can carry that with you So you see yourself as being always on the outside or always on the fringes, and it can make you very defensive. The origin of the St George Cross is based on St George, and St George actually was a Palestinian. Mm -hmm. So he came from the Far East, but he's also a patron saint of a lot of Roma within Eastern Europe, which a lot of people wouldn't know. So the reasons we are also using these symbols is to try and get people to think about them in a different way. So if you take a symbol like that and you put Romani in it, which is Romani spelt in both ways with an R, I and with a Y. Maybe people start to think, why have they written that on the flag? Why is it there? Mm -hmm. So then you start to maybe unravel that as an image.